Hey guys, Gary Scott here. Uh, just wanted to talk to you uh, a little bit about uh, bundling. Uh, bundling is the uh, the piece of uh, our service as a service business that is more service related than, than it is sales really. Um, it's the one tangible thing that our customers see uh, that we do. So when we're out uh, when we're out doing the inspection, uh, you know we want to check the house top to bottom, make sure that we're doing a complete diagnosis of the uh, of the problems here. Uh, it's no different than a home inspector. If uh, you know when you bought, bought a home or sold a home that comes in and they tell you anything that's wrong there that needs to be fixed before the new homeowner or yourself, if you're buying the home, they tell you all those problems that. Uh, that need to be fixed before you know before you go into that house or you sell that house. Uh, so it's a protection thing, and what we do is the same. Uh, we're checking it top to bottom, and it's the one service-related part of our business uh, that we do as sales inspectors. Um, it's that one service part that we do, and when we when we report to that customer, we're letting them know from top to bottom everything that's wrong with their house. That way, when we put it all together, as far as uh, you know, what's going on in the attic, what's going on in the crawl space, uh, the problems that are there, what's creating the problem. So when you're bundling, you also want to tie in the conducive conditions, uh, what's causing it. So if you if you got a customer and you're looking, and you're telling them, hey, you know, you've got um, you know crickets, mice, whatever going on inside the house. Uh, this is why. This is the conducive piece to it. Okay, you've got um, an override of moisture in that crawl space, and it's being created by whatever, whether the ground's naked, uh, the walls need fixed, it needs a dry zone, whatever it is. Uh, that moisture is, uh, you know, causing fungal growth. Fungal growth causes, you know, uh, the spider crickets or camel crickets, cave crickets, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they come in to eat that, and then. And behind them, you have the mice coming because those camel crickets are, you know, juicy little bites of protein. So they're living in the, uh, you know, in the crawl space. So if you got those camel crickets, that's what's causing it. Uh, you know, they're in there to eat the fungal growth. And then you got the mice in behind them, and then you can even get snakes behind that. So the conducive conditions in a crawl space uh, creates a, uh, a little ecosystem. Uh, you know, of uh, stuff living that we don't want there. Uh, you know, and that's above and beyond the fact that it can get, you know, high enough to, uh, to create a rot situation if the uh, moisture levels are going above 28%. So, same thing in the attic. You can have things over winter in the attic, you know, different kind of insects. Um, mice will come in, you know, to, uh, to get them and you can have that same little ecosystem going on up inside the attic. So when we're out there bundling, and doing that full home inspection, which is the service piece uh, of our job as salespeople, we want to be sure that we tie everything in with what we do. You know, whether it's um, you know it's in the attic, underneath, the exclusion outside. You know, all the conducive conditions going on in a home ties in to the problems of that bundle. So when we're pitching it from top to bottom, you know, and you're talking to that customer, be sure you include that. Uh, you know, you need to step out of your um, sales mind, so to speak, and be thinking service. We are a service company, a service industry, and be thinking top to bottom. Here's your full inspection, your, uh, your graph, your pictures, what's creating the problem as far as the conducive end, and then, uh, you know, you present that to the customer. Here's the problems, and here's the fix. There's nothing more disturbing and I know this myself as a customer in some different situations where, you know, you hear one problem and then the next year you hear another problem and then the next year another problem. And it gets so redundant that you, know, you kind of think, well, you know, what's going on here every year? There's something. So what we want to do as sales inspectors is put on that service hat while we're out there checking these houses. Check them top to bottom, let them know everything that's going on so they know it up front. You know, we didn't build the house. It's not our fault that those problems were there, but we are the answer. We're the solution. So, uh, good selling. You know, in the field, as you can see, that's where the bundles are. Thanks.